Well, hello and welcome back. My name is Jessica, if you're new here, and this is the Pet Parenting Reset. On this channel, we talk about dog behavior, dog training, cat behavior, cat and dog nutrition and enrichment, all the things to keep your pets happy and healthy and living their best life possible. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer, so welcome. Um, one of the most popular videos on my YouTube channel is how to give a cat a pill, and it is a very old video, so I decided to update it a little bit. So let's be real. Giving a cat a pill is not easy. For the best of us, it's not easy. <laughs> um, but there are some tips and tricks, and you're gonna wanna know all of them because every cat is different. And one thing I have learned over many, many years of having many, many cats is that the same thing doesn't work for every one of my cats. I need to figure out every one of my cats individually and figure out how to give them pills individually. Right now, as I'm recording this video, one of my cats, his name is Romeo, he had a dental cleaning the other day and he had to have two teeth removed and he has been on pain medication for that tooth removal and he has needed it. Um, he's older, he's almost 14 and he is not bouncing back from this as quickly as he has in the past. He has had teeth removed in the past. He has some dental issues. He just isn't bouncing back from this one as quickly or easily, easily as he has in the past. So he definitely needs this pain medication. And for him, fortunately, the pills are teeny tiny. They're, they're pretty small. And what I have been able to do with him is take a little bit of a pate wet food that he really likes and hide the pill in that wet food I just take a little, like maybe nickel sized portion of that wet food and put the pill right in the middle. I present him the food first thing in the morning before he gets any other food so he is as hungry as he can possibly be. Fortunately, this particular medication the doctor says is okay to take with food and he is supposed to get it in the morning, once one pill in the morning every day. And he just gobbles the whole thing up and the pill is super easy, um, super, super easy. Now, for most cats, that is not the case, and sometimes pills are bigger, and sometimes you can't take pills with food, so we're gonna talk about all of these things. So as I was just saying in that um, little <laughs> story time about Romeo, the best and easiest way to give a cat a pill is with a treat. Now, the treat needs to be soft and pliable to and, and small enough that they can hopefully just eat it in one bite, and you need to be able to get that treat around the pill to completely encompass the pill. So it needs to be soft and pliable. Now, here's the trick with this. If you are just starting out, you wanna have multiple of these treats. You wanna give your cat a couple of the treats without the pill first, so they get used to eating the treat and aren't suspecting anything. Then give them that treat with the pill inside of it. Hopefully it goes down all in one bite because cats are notorious for not chewing their food and just swallowing it. And then you can give them another treat without a pill to wrap it all up and put a pretty little bow on it and everybody is happy. Now, if that doesn't work too terribly well, then you might want to get used, get your cat used to having their face touched. This is something that we use positive reinforcement for. We can gently touch their face and reward with a treat, again, no pill in sight, no pill around. Um, this is hopefully something that you can work with your cat prior to uh, needing pills because we want to make sure we are prepared. Being prepared is half the battle, right guys? And then what you'll want to do when it comes time to actually give the pill is to take the pill in the treat, again the soft pliable treat that you can wrap all the way around the pill and pop that pill into your cat's mouth gently, easily, and let your cat swallow. Now, if you gently hold your cat's mouth closed without obstructing their nostrils, their airways, then they will go ahead and swallow the pill. Everybody's happy, wonderful, let your cat go. They got a, a yummy treat. They're used to having their face touched, right? So no big deal. Now, if that doesn't work, then we need to use a pill gun. And this is a little more traumatizing to your cat, but you can actually, again, prepare your cat ahead of time. When we adopt a kitten or a puppy, it's one of, one of these things that ideally we would train our pet to get used to a pill popper 
from the very beginning. We can just put yummy treats in it, let them get used to it, use positive reinforcement so that it's something they are not scared of, and we can you know, work with them throughout the rest of, the, of their lives with a pill popper, giving them yummy treats here and there. They're not scared of it, so when we have to put a pill in it, it's no big deal to them. Ideally, that's the case. Even if it's not the case, a pill popper is still a viable option for you. It's just gonna be a little bit more traumatic for your cat. But, and now, this is what you have. You have your pill, right? Now, do you have these? You may not. You have to ask for these from your veterinarian. This is an oral syringe that I've just loaded with some water. And this, this is your secret weapon right here. This is a pill popper. Now they make different kinds of pill poppers. This one happens to be my favorite because it has a rubberized tip. You'll see here on the end, it comes apart where we're going to insert our pill. Just like so. Now they make ones that have just a plastic hard tip and those can be useful for larger breed dogs, but I like, for my cats, I like the rubberized tip. So we're gonna load our pill into the pill pocket. This is going to be your best kept secret, is having this pill, po uh, pill popper. And then we're also going to use the oral syringe with water just to make sure our cat gets the pill down her throat. Okay, so you can ask your veterinarian to provide you with an oral syringe and a pill popper, but I'm also gonna provide you with a link to find your own pill popper on Amazon just in case you wanna have one in advance or your veterinarian happens to not carry them. Okay, so this is my cat, Sasha. She's a big girl, but I've had her for 11 years. Ooh. So the first thing you wanna do, I'm giving her this pill. This is actually a liver enzyme pill. So number one is you wanna get behind your cat, like I am with Sasha. And I have my feet behind me to where, um, kind of like I'm sitting on my feet so that she can't back out behind me. That's number one. Number two is to take your hand over her eyes and pry her mouth open from the back part of her jaw right here. Now, you have to do it quick. You have to get the pill popper all the way down in the back of her throat and push the depressor right here on the pill popper to get it out of the popper. Now, she's taken the pill, and I know she's taken the pill because she didn't spit it out, but just to be sure, I'm gonna give her a little bit of water. So if you go through all of these and you just simply cannot get your cat to cooperate, well, I promise you, you are not the only one. The best thing to do is to contact your veterinarian, schedule to bring your cat in, have your veterinarian give them the pill. Also, just a note, there are other ways that you can give some medication. So if you are really struggling, talk to your veterinarian to find out if there are other applications of this medication. Sometimes a pill can actually be giving, given um, instead as an injection that will slowly release over time. Sometimes it can be given in a liquid form and sometimes you can actually get a com what's a compounding pharmacy, which is a different kind of pharmacy than what you normally go to to pick up your medications. It's called a compounding pharmacy to make what is called a transdermal application. So it will be a little like paste or gel that you put on the tip of your finger and you can put um, on the inside of your cat's ear right here. I did this with one of my cats, King Tut, a while back. I could not pill him and fortunately the medication that he needed was available at a compounding pharmacy in a transdermal application. So I would just alternate. One night I would put it on his his left ear, one night I would put it on his right ear and, and I would go back and forth. So that is also an option for certain medications. So talk to your veterinarian about it. All right, so those are the options that you have for giving your cat a pill. I hope that is helpful. I hope it encourages you because there are options. If you have any comments or questions, please make sure to leave them below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Additionally, I hope to see you over on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Patreon is great because you get behind the scenes content, you get exclusive content over there that I don't post anywhere else. 
You can join for as little as a dollar a month and it really helps me to, as a creator, to continue to bring content like this to you and other pet parents. Um, so it's really a win-win. <laughs> Also, if you're not already following the podcast, why not? Make sure to check out the Pet Parenting Reset wherever you get your podcast. With that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Give your pets some extra love from me. Until next time, bye guys. Bye.